Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Super Ego, and this is The Lost Vikings. This is the Super Nintendo version of an awesome, awesome game by Silicon and Synapse, who later became Blizzard Entertainment. Kind of a puzzle platformer from the 90s. This is a bit of a tutorial uh, video. I'm not actually playing this, this is just a little demonstration of how the three Vikings that you control actually work together. fast enough he can bash down walls and actually use it as an attack. See all of them gliding around with a shield. who's the only Viking who can run and jump. And then later that night... And now we get to play. Right, so straight away we've got an electric floor that we have to avoid. Just checking my jump button. We've got some food. The little question marks will give you hints, but I'm not going to bother with those. in peace. See, that's Viking engineering for you, being able to block lasers with a wooden shield. That was an easy level. Great.
Whoa. Eric is good for scouting ahead since he can avoid a lot of stuff. There we go. Let's talk to this guy. Bombs to blow up the computer. You're in the depths of space now. Let's get Olaf out there to block. Play this game uh, co-op, like two-player co-op. I can't actually say that I've ever done that. I've only ever played this single player. It's better that way. Alarm was getting a bit annoying. Right, so I've got anti-gravity lift. Look where the hair goes everywhere and his little moustache. There's probably going to be some kind of alien or laser. <coughs> Excuse me. And there is. And a laser as well. So we get Olaf down here. And Balog. Just gonna check that wall in case there's anything there. Nope. Laser. health again in the next level. I don't think my items carry over, so I will pass that to him. Use it. So three hit points each. I think you 
can get a shield, which gives you an extra hit point. Have to brain you both. As far as I know, that's a, a very British term. I'll brain you. Where Eric's running comes into play. The levels get very, very tricky later on, very, very nasty and evil. I like this game for the same reasons that I like Toe Jam and Earl. It's got a very wacky sense of humour. Teleporters now. Pull off a key. Yeah, I don't know that. Right, so we climb down here, get the key. Pull to this guy. Always leads with Olaf as he's got the shields. I think there are there might be some um, attacks that it can't block, I'm not sure. Later on there's um, some levels in ancient Egypt and I'm sure the mummy attack gets through the shield. Relatively certain that's the case. This is a bit awkward now because he's, he's a fast bugger. Just about. Okay, well, let's get him over here. There we go, that wasn't too bad. This is a smart bomb. So we're gonna wait until they're all on screen. Get him over here first. Bang! There we go. All dead. this is the last level of this sort of chapter if you like the game's divided into several sections and there's a couple of levels per section Get him! 
so I'll start to see how the abilities work together. It gets more complicated as the game goes on. The order in which you have to do stuff is really important. As well as the position of your fellow Vikings. boots so it's not affected by the anti-gravity now Make sure I can't jump high enough to get electrocuted find the bridge leading to some kind of portal which just looks like a galaxy So, we are on some kind of earth resembling planet with blue dinosaurs and giant mushrooms. I think we'll cut it here for now. Thanks very much for watching guys. Uh, I plan on at least trying to complete this game. The good thing is this game has passwords so if I do die I can start at the same level. Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching and for now I will say tatty bye.